लेट सी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन ऑफ सर्विंग टॉपिक वाइज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड एक्सप्लेनेटरी क्वेश्चन विल बी अपलोडेड सेपरेटली इन द प्ले लिस्ट फॉर नाउ वी आर टेकिंग अ लुक एट वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द होल सब्जेक्ट ओके तो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी आर हैविंग इज इन प्लेन सर्विंग Curvature of Earth is not taken into consideration, right? It is done for areas having extent less than 250 square kilometer, and triangles formed during survey are called as plane triangle. That's why the correct answer here is all of the above. Then, geodetic surveying is carried out when precise survey is required and area has extent over 250 square kilometer. All right. then following is an example of classification of survey based on method okay out of the given option triangulation surveying is the example of classification of survey based on method then cadastral survey is carried out for determination of boundaries of field properties houses etc along with horizontal distances and direction vertical distances are also given in topographical maps okay then while working from wall to part in survey work accumulation of error and their magnification is prevented if three dimensions are to be measured we use diagonal scale option c then linear measurements can be taken by pacing perambulator and chaining as well that's why all of the above options are correct linear measurement in survey works can be obtained by digital measurement then optical measurement as well as electromagnetic method of measurement that is edm method then to measure angle we use scale of chord okay to measure angles angular measurement can be taken by scale of chords revenue chain is 33 feet long and is divided into 16 links 16 length of a chain is measured from outside of one handle to outside of other handle each link in gunter's chain which is also known as service chain is 0.66 feet long 20 meter chain can have a tolerance of plus minus 5 mm engineer's chain is 100 feet long and it has 100 links okay 100 feet long and 100 link 1 feet is the length of each link then chains used for linear measurements in survey work as compared to tapes are easy to read but are heavy to use and can be easily rectified and repaired on the field therefore all of the above options are correct then a 30 meter chain can have a tolerance of plus minus 8 mm for 20 meter chain it was plus minus 5 mm and for 30 meter chain it is plus minus 8 mm to enable easy reading on a chain we provide tallies okay we provide tallies on every meter on the chain in survey work for linear measurements on field tape that can be used is cloth tape we can go with linen tape metallic tape or inver tape okay then for precise linear measurements such as baseline instrument that is used should be the most accurate precise one which is inver tape amongst the given options then inver tape has least coefficient of thermal expansion then an arrow is inserted after every chain length is measured on ground then which of the following tape is affected by moisture twist and stretching it is cloth or linen tape it is affected by moisture water content and twist and stretching then ranging pole has a large flag at its top okay to mark position of stations or terminal points of a survey line we use pegs inver tapes are made up of an alloy of 36% nickel and steel as compared to chain tapes are easier to handle okay then indirect or reciprocal ranging is done when both ends are not visible the process of fixing intermediate points between two terminal station is called as ranging a building is an obstacle for both chaining as well as ranging a river is an obstacle for chaining but not for ranging 
then in chaining the person standing at zero end holding the rear end of the chain and person holding forward handle are called follower and leader respectively then if a dash is incorrect area l is true length of tip l dash is incorrect length of tip then the true area capital a is given by a dash into square of fraction of l dash and l then in direct method of chaining on uneven or sloping ground base practice for stepping to determine distance is to measure downhill following is a compensating error in chaining okay error in marking is a compensating error in chaining then due to rise in temperature the length of chain increases and thus measured distance is less and the error is negative if a line is measured more number of times accidental error will decrease from the mean error due to bad ranging is cumulative positive erroneous length of chain will increase the length of measured line if it is too short then decrease the length of measured line if it is too long and have cumulative error in measurement then correction for slope is given by cv is equal to l into in bracket 1 minus cos of theta miscounting chain length is a mistake not error it is a mistake in chain survey a skeleton of triangles is formed biggest of all the survey line is base line it is to be measured very precisely very accurately survey station which can be either at the beginning or at the end of the chain is called as main station check lines or proof lines are used to check accuracy of the work a good system of survey lines can be obtained when survey stations are mutually visible main lines form well conditioned triangles then field has minimum number of survey lines tie line can take details of nearby object as well as serve the purpose of check line instrument which is used to set out right angle to a chain line is called as cross tap can be used optical square can be used then we can go with prism square also then book in which chain or tape measurement are recorded is called as field book in pole circle bearing or azimuthal bearing system bearing of a line is measured with magnetic north in clockwise direction french cross tap can set out both 45 degree and 90 degree angle when magnetic needle is freely suspended and properly balanced then it indicates a direction which is known as magnetic meridian in conversion of whole circle bearing that is wcb to quadrantal bearing that is rb if wcb is between 0 degree to 90 degree then rb is obtained by rb is equal to wcb then horizontal angle between true meridian and magnetic meridian is called as declination line passing through points of equal declination are known as isogonic lines angle between true meridian and a line is called as azimuth variation of magnetic declination due to rotation of earth along its own axis in 24 hours is called as diurnal variation then magnetic declination varies due to secular variation annual variation as well as diurnal variation if fore bearing and back bearing of a line do not differ by 180 degree the needle is said to be affected by local attraction then compass serving is not recommended when local attraction is suspected in the area prismatic compass can be used without tripod then graduations in prismatic compass and surveyor's compass are in wcb and quadrantal bearing system respectively then sighting and taking readings can be simultaneously done in prismatic compass in close travels if n is the number of angle in a close travels then sum of included angle is given by twice n minus 4 and the whole bracket is multiplied by 90 degree angle
then if magnetic meridian is at right side of true meridian then declination is positive and if it is at left side declination is negative if wcb of a line is 100 degree then quadrantal bearing will be 80 degree and quadrant will be southeast error due to local attraction in compass survey is a natural error a theodolite can be used for determination of vertical horizontal angle determination of horizontal distance between two point and level difference between two point as well to determine true bearing formula that can be used is it is true bearing is equal to magnetic bearing plus minus declination in a transit theodolite the triangular plate which carries three foot screws at its end is known as tribrach Theodolite that can be revolved in vertical plane is called as transit theodolite. Then sensitiveness of the bubble tube used in a theodolite is affected by diameter and length of the bubble tube, viscosity of the liquid which is being used inside the bubble tube, then the radius of curvature inside surface of the bubble tube. Then when face of vertical circle is to the right and bubble down position is known as telescope inverted. Line passing through intersection of horizontal and vertical crosshair, optical center of object glass and its continuation is called as line of sight and line of collimation. Then parallax error in theodolite can be eliminated by focusing the eyepiece and the objective. Then errors that are eliminated by method of repetition in theodolite survey are error due to eccentricity of vernier end center then error due to in adjustment of line of collimation and trunnion axis then error due to inaccurate bisection then in reiteration method several angles are measured from a single station and then horizon is closed angle between the line of collimation and the inclined line of sight is called as vertical angle then in theodolite traversing following is the best suited method for close travels okay included angle method is best suited method for close travels in theodolite surveying fast angle method of the theodolite traversing is also known as magnetic bearing method stadia method in theodolite survey is used for measuring horizontal distances then Deflection method of the theodolite traversing is used for open traverse. Horizontal axis in theodolite is also known as transit axis and trunnion axis as well. Error in reading due to expansion of part of theodolite is a natural error. The axis of telescope level in theodolite must be parallel to the line of collimation. Permanent point of reference whose elevation with respect to some assumed datum is known is called as benchmark. Slip error occurs in theodolite survey when lower clamp is not properly clamped, then loose fitting of theodolite on tripod is done, then loose fitting of shifting head is done. Then in barometric leveling method, relation between elevation at a point and respective atmospheric pressure is used to determine levels in leveling for a given point horizontal plane is tangential to level surface and perpendicular to plumb line commonly used leveling staff has a least count of 5 mm following is an optical defect of single lens of surveying telescope aberration is that optical defect in chromatic aberration Colors of the form image are refracted with respect to their wavelength. When setting up level between two points is not possible in order to determine difference in their respective elevations, reciprocal leveling is done. Appellation characteristic of telescope means absence of spherical aberration. If D is the distance in kilometer, then Correction for curvature and refraction is given by CC is equal to 0.07849 D square and CR is equal to 0.01121 D square. 
वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू कंजिव कंट्रोल लाइन्स इज रिस्पेक्टिवली नोन एज कंटूर इंटरवल एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल इक्विवेलेंट इन अ क्लोज कंटूर वेन लोअर वैल्यूज आर इन साइड एंड हायर वैल्यूज आर आउटसाइड इट इंडिकेट्स अ डिप्रेशन देन वेन कंटूर लाइन्स आर क्लोज स्लोप इज स्टीप एंड वेन कंटूर लाइन्स आर स्पेस्ड अपार्ट द स्लोप इज फ्लैट और जेंटल only in the case of an overhanging cliff contour lines intersect each other a line lying throughout on the surface of the ground and preserving a constant inclination to the horizontal is called as contour gradient when higher values are inside the loop and contour lines are crossing the lines at right angle it's a ridge line in direct method of locating contours way of working is locating the contour points and surveying the points to plot contour map contour interpolation can be done by graphical method and arithmetic method and estimation as well to plot contour map in case of hilly terrain suitable method is stoichiometric method then following method of plane tabling is generally used to locate the plane table station resection is the method in plane table surveying radiation and intersection methods are generally used to locate the details orientation of plane table can be done by compass and back sighting as well two point problem and three point problem are special methods of resection three point problem can be solved by tracing paper method graphical method and lehmann's method also in traversing method rays are drawn on the map by setting up the table over each of the station toward the subsequent station intersection method is also known as graphical triangulation when the area to be surveyed is small and all the stations are visible and accessible from the instrument station method that can be used is radiation method traversing method of plane tabling is used when narrow strip of terrain is to be surveyed